Okay, so today is a new day and I'm pumped. So my gases came in for my exhaust manifold to the cylinder head and my locking plates. These are the tabs that I'll be bending over to hold the nuts from uh, backing out on my cylinder head there. So like I said, I got my new decked surface here that will mount up to the cylinder head and cleaned up my down downpipe there for my new catalytic converter connection. So first I'm actually going to disconnect the battery. Uh, I forgot to do that, um, but I should disconnect the battery, let it sit or let it die, let the ECU die and everything. So when I go to, you know, uh, hook up the O2 sensors, there's no faults or anything. Um, just a good, uh, good idea. So let me grab some tools and I'll walk you through it. All right, so pulled the seat off, lifted, lift the end up, and then you pull it, slide it out. And this is a 13 millimeter. Just do a little twist. All right, so that disconnected. We're all safe there. Actually, one thing I forgot to do was to shave to make sure that the surfaces on the cylinder head are clean. Alright, so let me uh, continue doing that. I'll bring it back and I'm ready to put the head on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sure to put some anti-seize on these bolts. Uh, so, Alright, so... The way this goes is good and all the bolts are the same length. Alright, so it goes bracket and then washer manifold gasket. Make sense? Alright, so put you back down here. I'll let you watch. All right, take two. So, first day with the manifolds back, did not work out. So, here we are on the second time. Um, all right, so just to give you a little you know rather you learn from my mistakes as opposed to having to go through them yourself so what happened was i went to go put these on and the bolts were like just a hair outside of these holes if you look they kind of been elongated so uh looks like they didn't go all the way through on that one hopefully that's enough um but uh what happens over time is you know being uh, heated up and cooled down heat up cooled down um this kind of bows in so it shrinks in like well like this uh, so when I went to go put it on when I took it off I probably didn't notice that these end bolts were on tension uh, yeah so when I went to go mount it up it didn't quite fit so I got them uh, elongated out a little bit hopefully they should fit now before I put this on if you notice these are my exhaust gaskets for the manifold. They all line up, but they don't all face that direction. Some of them have to be flipped like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark 
um, from the front to back, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four. Um, I know that's not the actual cylinder numbers, but uh, that should help keep me one that the right side is the right size up, and that they're facing the right direction. So let me do that here. If I can do it right. Yeah, see, see right there. Holes line up, but the intake is wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on here correctly, and then take them off one by one, and set them up on top of the car. All right, so now it is time to get this back in here. Before I put slip the gaskets in, um, you can see I labeled them. I'm gonna go ahead and just test fit a couple bolts to make sure they're in there right before I put all my locking brackets and nuts and washer washers on there. So see what see what happens here. All right, so it looks like they fit. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just slip, take the one bolt off at a time and slip the gasket in in between. All right, so they all are on there pretty snug. Now I'm gonna use my torque wrench here to uh, get them there all the way. Um, so what I, uh, it calls for 21 Newton meters, which is 185 inches per pound so I have this set or so I need to set this up and see if you guys can see it so. this is a 3 8 ratchet you can see there so and 5 is the top there at zero and you just go a hair more because it says 21 and it only shows values for 20 so put this guy on there and when it clicks it's not a very loud click but you can feel it so before I bend these tabs down right here I'm gonna go uh, see you can see. All right, so before I'm, I uh, bend these tabs down, I want to fire it up, make sure there's no exhaust leaks, and then I'll bend them down. Not really something you want to unbend and try to rebend. All right, so driver's side is on. So now let's. I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side, and I'll bring you back. All right, so I got all the manifolds, got both manifolds in, and all the bolts in. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on putting on the heat shield in case I gotta tighten those bolts up underneath of it. But so for now, I'm gonna do the lower manifold, exhaust manifold gasket that gets that ties into me the uh, catalytic converter here. All right, well, at least it's not that messy of a job. <laughs> All right, so the final touch before we can start it. Well, a couple more, but um, there's my O2 sensor plug. And stash the other one somewhere in here. There it is. So there's my plug. I just gotta plug it into here. Alright, um, so I got I got it plugged in, you can see. But one thing you want to be wary of. So you got some slack here, and I do not want that slack 
touching the exhaust because then, then you just ruined your brand new O2 sensors. So what I'm going to do is just zip tie it here. All right, so exhaust is on. You can see back there, I tightened that clamp. As you can see, the muffler kind of sits down a little bit. I'm not crazy about it, which then again doesn't make a great connection right here. So I'm a little disappointed for a Magnaflow custom, you know, a Magnaflow exhaust system made for this car. That it doesn't fit exactly. Um, I mean, it's a little, it's, I mean, the center muffler doesn't even hang straight. And that, that's not just the lens. So if it doesn't leak, I'll leave it alone. But if it leaks, I know it's that connection. But all right, so let's get the battery hooked up again. All right, there we go. All three, two, one. Some of my exhaust gaskets are loose. All right, so here we go. First start with the new exhaust. Nice. All right, so we're gonna check for leaks here. It is smoking a little bit, but I think that's all the oil and stuff that's burning off. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything. Definitely, uh, definitely a little smoky from all the oils on the parts, but... pretty good. Let it uh, get the smoke billow out and kind of let it warm up and then we'll give her some revs. Yeah. All right. So the temperature is warmed up. Let's see what we got here. All right, so it looks like we're back together. Um, just gonna go for a little test drive here, but appreciate you coming along with me on uh, checking out my video. If this is helpful, uh, drop me a like, throw me a comment down at the bottom, let me know what you thought, something I could have done better, something I was wrong about, any advice you might have. But appreciate you guys coming along, taking this out and uh, taking on this project with me. And uh, let me know what else you want to see, but I'll try to bring you along for my next project. Again, this is Christian Toth with Coach That Motorworks. Thanks for joining. Bye.